Hey my friends and welcome to hole number 7 in the Christmas tournament for Pro and Expert Division which means I'm playing this one from the second tee. You can practice this hole on tour number 9. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and be a sub. So I'm playing this one against my friend Ian uh, and uh, we are, I'm going to play this one in one way, he is going to play this one in another way. So you can go on the uh, short to go on the right side, you can go on the left side. I do want to show the right side because I do have the wind for the right side. I think that wind do decide how to play this hole actually. Uh, and the thing that you need to have in mind is that I really do suggest that you use uh, a long wood club, uh, which uh, would be the big dog or the cattle kiss more, maybe a max out garden or something like that uh, would be the best way. And I'm going to tell you more about that just in a bit. Want to bounce it before the rough there? Put yourself up as close to the top there on the rough as possible. And you will be able to reach to the green from there. Ian here is going to go on the other side. And that side is a bit trickier, especially when you have the wind as it is right there. Um, you need to have some curl, you need to have some side spin. Uh, so that's why I do suggest that you go to the left side if you have the wind right to left. or And you go to the right side if you have wind left to right uh, and again the reason for that is that you it's easier to play in the wind than against the wind play with the wind not against the wind so he it's a great and with the side spin he has and the small uh, the amount of curl uh, he had on the different direction makes this shot be excellent and we'll leave him with a long iron to the pin uh, of course, here as well, if you do hit yourself into the bunker, you will not be able to reach. And you will not be able to reach with your rough iron as well. So, again, the driving part is being such a big factor. And the and I think uh, the game makers has, again, made this one an incredible course in that way as it really as it really should be if you miss the drive you shouldn't have an easy task to get to green uh, we haven't went left to right i'm going a bit more out to the left because i'm going to use uh, use the fairway as it drops a bit from the left to right and bounce it in there i'm putting myself here on the green and you have a small slope on the back of the green which will make you uh, fall back down. Now I have Ian here and he's going to do the same, trying to bounce it over, over the bunker here. And the thing that you need to have in mind, and we'll see that on Ian's shot as well, is that you don't, don't want to uh, have your first bounce that close to the bunker. Because at the... At that place, the green and do slopes a bit down towards the bunker, which will make the first bound be like pretty straight and not bounce in the way that the ball guide says it would. And then you're going to see here now, uh, Ian hits this one perfect. And see here, it bounces, and you see the straight bounce instead of it bouncing up, and that's because it bounces too close to the bunker. Um, so this was hole number seven in the tournament, uh, a, a hole that I really do like again. And this is played from the second tee, which is pro and expert division. If you want to practice this hole, you can practice that one on tour number nine. Uh, otherwise, do not miss out the stream. I'm streaming my master's uh, rounds uh, uh, on um, yeah during the tournament. And if you want to have any tips for masters, you need to watch that, of course. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, and I wish you the best of luck in the Christmas tournament.